one, I think two players prior to that, he scored too easy. We're up five. I mean, he scored within three or four seconds a couple of times. And when you're up the lead, you don't want to give them wide open, easy layups within you know a few seconds. We had some miscommunications defensively. That play, Brad, Brad got open. I should have called the timeout. Um, we've done a pretty good job with that. With, uh, Brad gets open, draws a foul. That most of the time, that they will trap you or foul you and put you on the free throw line. Unfortunately, he slipped on a wet spot, um, but that's on me. I should have called the timeout. Lewis. Hey, Coach. Uh, I timed that replay review at the end of the game. It was two minutes and 36 seconds long. I'm wondering what you make of that in terms of does that feel like it had an impact on what the Celtics were able to do on that last possession? And um, do you think that replay system is, is working overall in the league right now? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Both teams can use the rest. We just want to get the call right. Um, no matter how long it takes, you want it to go as fast as they can do. And they are, they're not, not trying to get anything wrong just to and be in a hurry. They're going to take their time. But yeah, that had nothing to do with us losing the game. It was a well-played uh, effort game. Both teams competed. You know, somebody has to lose. You hate it to be us. We had the lead and we had a chance that we, I think we missed two good looking threes and we turned it over once. Those are shots we live with. And, you know, they made big plays. Tatum made big plays. Fred. Scott, what, what were you on that last offensive play where the Brad jumper rims out? What what kind of look were you were you looking at? Well, to get? You, got a, you got a catch and go. Uh, I think that was against Denver. Same same type of play. Um, I thought he was going to. I thought he had a, another opportunity there, but give Tatum credit. They bottled him up pretty good. Um, yeah, we did. Unfortunately, we all were standing and watch. We had a couple of lanes to cut. I thought. Russell had a, a cut uh, watching it live, and I thought I think it was DB on the left side, left wing. He I thought he could have cut, and thought he cut a little late, but they did a good job. You know, sometimes uh, you got to give the defense credit, and they did a good job bottling him up. And you know, he got two free throws the last time we ran that type of play. Chase. Hey, Scott, uh, what made you go to uh, Isak Bonga for an extended stretch there in the second half? We needed some defense. Uh, we needed some defenders without fouling. Um, that's why we have a 15-man roster. Everybody has to be ready. You don't get entitled to minutes. you got to come in. you got to defend. You can't foul every time down the court. Got him in the bonus. Got him to a lot of free throws. I thought, unfortunately, he missed all five of his good-looking threes. He's not a... He's an improving three-point shooter. Uh, I thought the game, the way he was competing offense, uh, defensively, if we would have took care of business at the end of the game, I thought his minutes won the game for us. Uh, but you know what? He's a, he's, a, he's a worker. He's been working before games to get this opportunity and give him credit. He stayed ready, and he was ready tonight. Tim. Hey, Scotty, I, I know this is probably has nothing to do with what happened, but this is, I think, the 11th time in a row that Brad has scored 40 and you guys have lost. I, I know that's like a random stat. Is there any kind of correlation to like either guys are not, you know, standing around watching him play or anything that's kind of led to that? Because that's obviously a pretty weird thing. It's not like you yeah. want him to score less. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I tried to take it out of his hands when he got to 39. It didn't work. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a strange stat. Uh, he's. He's not, we're not doing anything different. You know, he's a great player. He's going to have a lot of 40 point nights. He's going to have a 50 point night. He had a 60 point night. Uh, the guy is a flat out baller. And, you know, we, we have to be able to, that him scoring the 40, 46 points, uh, I thought we should have did a better job of not letting him score so quick in those last three possessions. And, but like I said, it was a, it was a, Effort. Both teams played hard. They're, they're competing. We're competing, and unfortunately, somebody has to go away, not feeling good about themselves. Neil, do you have one more? 
Yeah, Scott, you kind of alluded to it, the needing to play defense without fouling. Denny had three fouls in, you know, seven first half minutes. One, do you think he's the victim of, you know, some tough whistles? And two, even if that's the case, how do you guys kind of adjust his play so that he doesn't pick those up? No, I mean, that's every every young player. It's a, it's a, this is not an easy league. I think Brad said it pretty good last game. Um, tough league. He's going to be a good player, and he is. A, he's a solid player now, but it's, it's not. You gotta you gotta be able to uh, play. And some nights are not going to be your night. This wasn't his night. Uh, we play the Memphis Grizzlies. It's, maybe it's going to be his night. Um, you go through that, but we do have to. We we can't we can't um, we can't we have to have a defensive presence with, without fouling. And I mean, it wasn't. He didn't. His three fouls in that second quarter didn't lose the game, but we had to go with somebody else. And Bonga was next man up. This guy works hard for those moments, and thought he played hard. He, he gave us a chance to win the game. Hey Davis, you know, obviously, you know, a few things didn't go your guys' way late in the game. What's kind of the morale and thought process after kind of a deflating loss like that? You know. We're all pissed off about the loss, of course. Uh, I mean, this is the game we could take to get that win. And that would put us in a better position in standings. And uh, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough loss. Ava. Davis, kind of what do you take away as, I guess, the main, not lesson, but kind of take away from that loss when it's not like you guys were kind of falling behind big, even in the first half when, when you were struggling a little bit, it was just kind of, again, a last second thing. Like what's the, what's the main point, I guess, you focus on? Well, we already talked about in the, in the locker room at halftime that, you know, we, we played like crap the first half and, uh, and we we're still in the game. We we're only down five. So uh, we just, we just put ourselves in a position that we can everyone, like we can win every single game. And uh, I think in the second half, we just kind of started, started playing better on defensive end and, that made the offense look better, and uh, that's how we got the lead. You know, unfortunately, we couldn't close it off. I think uh, uh, when we had the lead, Tice made some uh, big shots for them, and uh, you know that usually it wouldn't be three out of three. He would have probably missed one or two of those, but uh, you know he made big shots. Sometimes it goes that way, but you got you got to live with some guys shooting those shots. Chase. Hey, Davis, uh, what can you say about uh, just the way that Jason Tatum was able to close the game for them and, and get to the rim a few times there at the end? Well, there's there's a reason why, why he's an all-star. You know, Brad, Brad's the same type of player, and uh, he can get to the rim anytime and uh, and draw fouls and finish. Uh, so he's a hell of a player, and uh, there's a reason why he's an all-star. In these last two games for you, we've, we've seen you get hot from three at stretches. It comes after uh, Coach Brooks said he, he thought he needed to do some things to get you more shots. Is it something that they changed in the offense or you feel like you're just starting to knock them down a little bit more? Uh, I think it, it comes all together. You know, if I make a shot, then uh, I guess it gives more confidence for the teammates to look for me. And uh, and uh, also also the offense coming together, I think more uh, we're getting to know each other. You know, we got some new pieces, you know, right? Russ is a big piece for us, but uh, uh, joining late in like very late before the season as well, you know, me coming late, uh, I think it's just taking time for everybody to understand uh, what we prefer on the court. And uh, yeah, just once I make that one, make that one shot, I think uh, everybody's looking for me a little bit more. So I think that's, that's about it. Kellen. Hey Davis, uh, what did you see in that last defensive play where you know Brad was double teamed it looked like you were kind of sprinting over a, a little late I guess what were you trying to do what what did you see kind of develop in that last play uh if you talk about the very last uh you, oh, when Brad was double teamed on offense yeah. I was thinking about you you asking about defense uh, Sorry. yes offense. uh yeah when he was double teamed you know I saw that uh he's he's a little bit of a trouble like I tried to cut uh you know just get open but I think it was a little bit late for uh to get that pass, you know, Tom winding down, it's hard, it's hard to be in that position and uh, find somebody. And, you know, he still got the shot off and it was close. So you know, if it went in, nobody would ask me this question right now. Bob. Thank you, Chase. Uh, 
Douglas, can you, Bradley almost made that shot under incredible pressure. Can you, was his game amazing? I'm, I know you've seen a lot this season, but can you talk about the way he plays, please? Thank you. Well, it's, you know, not the first time. <laughs> it's not a surprise. Uh, you know, he can take the game over by himself anytime. And uh, at the same time, you know, the defense has to be on their toes, uh, help. And that kind of opens up the game for everybody else on the court. And uh, as you saw that very often, uh, he, he's the reason why somebody else is getting a wide open look. Is um, is it more? Is he more confident this year, or is he he's he's reached? You know, he plays at a, such a high level anyway. But is there an, has he reached another level with getting used to Russell and and the way you guys have been played recently? Is he at another level now? I think it was a, a very high level already last year. He's definitely improved even more, and uh, I think the biggest thing uh, is is his presence on defense. You know, he's he's put himself put it on, on himself to guard the best players of uh, every team he go against, and uh, you can see that he he has been doing a good job, and uh, that definitely puts him on uh, on the radar for like you know with all, with all time great players that they can play on both ends of the floor. Thank you. All right, we'll finish up with Quinn. Hey, Davies, what went into some contact that you had made cutting across the lane when uh, Brad was trying to get off that late game shot? Did you think that was a foul? Uh, in my opinion, it was a foul. Uh, the referee said that uh, because the shot went all up already, like that's, that's the reason he didn't call it. But, you know, I, I, I didn't expect him to make that call, you know, unless if Brad passed me the ball and then I get fouled. So I think that that's the call that they, they would never make uh, to decide a game that way. And is there anything that goes into your quicker starts from three-point range than typically over the last few games you've, you know, kind of struggled throughout the first half, but really found your stride down the stretch of games, or is it just how the shots have been falling for you lately? Uh, I think it's just uh, overall finally getting into that, that rhythm, you know, with, with the, being out with the COVID for two weeks. Uh, that wasn't easy, you know, once I was already feeling like I, I found the rhythm before. And then for two weeks, not touching basketball and, uh, and then coming back again, basically starting all over again. Uh, yeah, so I, I think it's just right now I have the feeling uh, like last season and the end of the season when we started. Hey, Brad, just how would you describe, uh, you know, the closing minutes of this game and how this game ended for you guys? First praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, Probably some of the goofiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Slipped out of bounds. Gave Tatum three layups at the end of the game. I'm pissed off. Oh. Fred. Brad, you you guys have still won seven of nine. What what is the locker room like in a game after that though? When it, it is a heartbreaker, admits to a really strong stretch. Pissed off because we should have won. We had, I mean, we were in control. We were up five with forty five seconds left. We got to close that out. That's we got we got to win that game, man. We did everything we we could have possibly done to put ourselves in position to win. We got to win. We're seven and nine, seven and two out of the last nine is great. It should be eight and one. Bob. Hi, Bradley. Um, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay. Hi, Brad. How you doing, man? Your great season. Uh, would you take a moment to describe the last play? And did you think you nailed the shot? Because I mean, you were under incredible pressure, but it still looked like you got a good, a good release on the shot. Uh, I think the the play was initially for me to really just catch and make a play, uh, but I caught the ball right into a double team, so it was just, it was definitely a little tough for me to just do anything. Uh, two six nine guys guarding me, so uh, you know I just I heaved it up and you know, kind of prayed it went in, but. That one wasn't answered, so. Also, could you real quickly follow up? Could you take a moment to talk about Jason and your by play? 
mean, he's he's a special talent. You know, everybody knows our relationship. You know, everybody knows uh, we compete. You know, we pull for each other. Uh, you know, so he's 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 an all star for a reason. You know, he's a special talent. And I'm pissed off. He actually had to get going against us tonight. He was struggling a few times coming in. Coming into the game tonight, but you know he he always picks up his energy when he plays me. So uh, in that regard, I was happy for him that you know just from a fan aspect of him being able to get himself going and get out of his little slump or whatever. But I did hate it was against us. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll take one more from Ava. Um, Brad, where do you guys go after this one? Do you focus more on the starts? That's something that Davis mentioned. Or do you focus on like you said, you guys were kind of in position to close it out and and do that. Uh, well, we go home and we play Memphis next, I think. Uh, so we got to realize that's going to be a young, hungry, energetic team that we got to face. Uh, and we can't have any different approach than we had the last nine. You know, uh, as mad and pissed off as I may be, as everybody else may be, you know, we still can take a lot of positives out of this game and apply them to, to the rest of the year. So, uh, you know, you just try not to dwell on it too much. Um, you know, uh, look at areas we can get better, look at areas we can incorporate guys more and uh, and kind of go from there. Be ready to go on Tuesday, I think. Sure. Um, Russ just kind of asked Brad the same thing. Uh, it wasn't like it was a crazy game or anything from start to finish. It was just the close there. Where do you kind of go from here after a loss like this that's not necessarily like bad or anything? It was just a tough closing stretch. Yeah, I mean, we just got to close the game up. That's it. We we gave them the game basically. Uh, I thought we did a good job of getting stops when we needed to, but not within the last minute or so. Um, but we got to get our, our minds ready for Tuesday. Uh, close out. Uh, try to get some wins before the break. What do you kind of take away, especially from this game being the second half of a back to back? It didn't look like you guys were fatigued or experiencing any of the things that kind of plagued you a little bit earlier on in the season. Um, just. We know how we need to play to win. We know the level we need to get to to win games. Uh, we just got to do it for the whole 48 minutes. Thanks, Russ. Mm -hmm. Chase. Russ, uh, just what can you say about the way that uh, Jason Tatum closed the ta uh, the game for them as you guys, uh, you know, try to stop them there in the closing minutes? Um, you know, I got to look at film and see. Uh, we kind of just gave him um, layups after layups. Made a tough shot towards the end, but we just got to do a better job. I'm saying that we did a good job for the first 47 minutes. Fred. Russell, what did you make of your guys' execution on, on that final play where the uh, the Brad shot rims out at the buzzer? Uh, I mean, you know, it's obviously a tough position. Um, you know, I thought he did a good job of doubling Brad in the corner. Um, you know, we executed the play. We got the ball with who we wanted to get the ball to. Um, the rest is history.